Gaffer, just your immediate <clears throat> assessment after today's game. Obviously, a scrappy game. You know, not not really any fluent football from from either side, but certainly plenty of opportunities to score goals. You know, um, a lot of efforts at goal. And on another day, I think certainly a couple of them going. How are you going to make them going? Because that's the question that's going to be asked. It's sometimes there's a goal in open play. <clears throat> um, obviously, if you look at there's that many chances today. There's I wouldn't like to hazard a guess of how many shots Bogle's had. At, you know, efforts at goal. You know, on a, another day, some of them flying. You know, they. I thought we started the game reasonably well, got in behind them, some good opportunities. You know, probably with a good value for an early goal for a change. Um, <clears throat> the longer the game goes on, it's just a hard fall scrap, really. You know, and not really any fluent football from from either team. Um, it's important, obviously, that you get something out of the game because to lose, we certainly didn't deserve to lose the game. And I, and I think some of the opportunities that go begging in the second half when the ball's bouncing around in the box that you need one of them to go into the situation room. I suppose pitch playing its part a little bit as well, it's making it hard for some of your midfield players to get you going. Yeah, obviously. I mean, I, I, I'm sick of going on about it really because it's not like looking for the excuses. You couldn't fault the players, their effort, and, and trying to pass the ball around and, and play, you know, and some days you get things where everything's going smooth for you and fine. And, it's a lot easier if you're playing on a bowling green to do that. Other days when you go through a hard slog that we've been, some of the final passes, the final touch, ain't quite as good as you would like them to be. At the run of the pitch, another clean sheet though, and you dealt with what Forrest had to offer quite comfortably really in the end. Yeah, you know, we've we've tried to freshen it up a little bit because you know obviously where Callum Connell is coming to a spell of games where he's never experienced anything like that before and, and done tremendously well. You know, Omar's stepping up a league and playing game after game and and running his socks off so we, we just tried to share the workload a little bit today good to see Gilby back into it, even though he's not fully fit the same with um, Obertan um, good to get him some minutes you know out on the pitch um, all we can do is dust ourselves down you know get ready for um, next Saturday you know obviously another big game and, and prepare this week so we're ready to be flat out next week you gave Mika Mandra on his first start how do you assess his performance I thought he started the game bright, you know, he's a young kid obviously, there's the difference there that we're starting a young kid from Eastleigh who's on buttons and they're bringing McCormack and, you know, as a late substitute, you know, so that's the difference in some of the artillery that they've got, but I thought he worked really hard, you know, some reasonable opportunities and, and, and got hold of it quite well in the first half. And you mentioned Alex Gilby, it was almost a dream return there, just at the end he got in front of his man but just couldn't quite adjust his body to get the ball home. Yeah, obviously he's had a frustrating you know, time. He, he, he's obviously a decent player. He's, he's a way off being at his best. We've thrown him in just gambling there today, trying, trying to win the game.